Okay, last time I showed you how to make some forms. Today I want to take that a little, little step further, but just as easy a process. I want us to make a, a switchboard now so that the users can navigate from the switchboard rather than having to use all of these options down the left. The switchboard needs to be again in accordance with the design that the data users chose. So you need to make sure that it, that it meets your design specifications. Straightforward process to do, create, and this time we're going to do form design, which is going to present this with a totally blank screen. We can then go to the design view. We can probably put, put, a, put a label in and we'll call it switchboard. And then we probably need to put some buttons in. And again, it's exactly the same process as last time, except we're going to, we're going to be opening forms. So if I click, if I click form and open the form, next we'll open our contact records and we'll call it contacts. You'll probably have to give it more meaningful names and we'll finish. I'll do another button quickly. And again, it'll be form operation, open the form, next, and it'll be employee records. I've already made an employee form. That, that's why it's already showing. When you make forms, they will appear in this screen. And we'll call it employees. Finish. So we, we've got two buttons. Uh, in place for us. What we should probably do as well is put a button to open up the reports. So I perhaps I could put a new label in here and call it reports and put a button underneath. And again it'll be a, a report operation, open a report and then it's we'll do a report of the close with the sale. Next, I will do give it a sensible name. Close with sales. Next, and finish. And, and we've we've created our some buttons. We also need to probably look at the, at, at our design layer to choose the design that we we want and the design the customers chose. So. We probably went with, with a green similar similar to that. Also need to stick a logo in. It's all pretty straightforward. You will notice as soon as you put a logo in, it opens up the form header box. So, so you can take this opportunity to change it to some some of the other corporate colours that, that we've chosen. We'll drag switchboard up to there. Just move things around to make it look tidy. Once once you've got the, the, the start of making the switchboard, you can then you can then go to save it. Well, you can then go and save it. We'll call it again. Start at F or M. And I'll call it switchboard. And when we go to view the switchboard. It opens up, perhaps not the best design in this instance. And if I click contacts, it'll open up the contacts table. And if I click employees, the same thing will happen there. And if I do close with sales, it opens up my my report. So so things are starting to take shape. The only problem you will notice is if, if I click contacts, I I haven't got a button to get back. So again, this is where you need to tidy things up. And it's an easy process is we need to put a new button in and it'll be a form operation and you'll notice we've got a new option now the switchboard has appeared in our create in our choice of forms to select and I'll call it back to switchboard and now I'll save that so in our switchboard, if I click employees, you know, if I click contacts, 
you see we've got a button back to switchboard and that can take me back so that that makes the navigation a lot easier contacts and back to switchboard so again you would now need a button for employees that 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 would have a that would point us back as well there are other there are other buttons that that you need to create as well because at some point you'll probably be want, wanting to you'll be wanting to add new records i've shown you that you'll want to print you'll want a button that can print a report you'll want buttons that can preview reports you just need to make sure that you go go through all of these we've we've used the record navigation for going back to the first record back to the next record we've we've added a new record so we've put a button in for that so we've used this feature forms we're going to be using a lot report i've shown you and then there are miscellaneous ones which we'll come to uh, a lot later on so that's that's our lesson on creating a switchboard so now we're pretty much nearing the end of the assignment we've got our tables we've got them all linked we've got some queries we've got some reports we've got data entry forms with the buttons we can navigate back to the switchboard so we're getting to the stage where the users would just need to use these switchboards and we're meeting the criteria that the franchise owner asked for okay thank you